Hello guys, welcome back, and I have another instructional video on how to return your HTC One back to stock. You will need HTC drivers, working ADB and fastboot, and also time. Now let's get started. Your phone must have ADB debugging enabled for this to work. Open the command window and change the directory to where you have your ADB and fastboot files. A link will be in the more info will provide you with the select files. files. After you have changed the directory, type ADB reboot bootloader. Your phone should reboot it to a similar screen like this one. Once you have successfully rebooted into the bootloader, let's head over to our web browser and type in androidfiles.org slash ruu. This will give us like links and downloads to the RUUs for the HTC One. Now over here, once you go onto the website, you'll need to scroll down a little bit so you can find M7. Once you have selected M7, just scroll down a little bit so you can find the list of RUUs available for download. These range from like around 1 gigabyte to as low as 17 megabytes. Select the one for your region or your device. In this case, I've already downloaded the one for the European version of the HTC One. With your device plugged into the computer, right click on the RUU you have downloaded and run as an administrator. Now, if when you see this uh, user account control, click yes to allow the program to run. After it opens up, you just need to wait a little bit for for it to extract the files needed to flash to your device. Once, should have, um, once it has finished, another window should pop up. And I'll just place my phone over there. Another window should pop up. Welcome to the ROM update utility for your Android phone. Check the box. I understand the caution indicated above. Then click next. Then just check that. Hit next. And it will verify information on your Android phone. This is only the first step to verify that your phone is capable of you know being flashed that firmware. And you just gotta wait a little bit and another window should pop up displaying the image version that you are on. You can only select update to update the current ROM version. Click on update. Now another window should pop up again and it will tell you your image version now and what you are flashing to. Then just click next. This is the point where it takes about 10 to 15 minutes depending on everything in the world. It will wait, it will do all the steps automatically so you just need to leave your phone plugged into your computer. Now sit back and relax and I'll just make this thing fast forward like crazy. Now once it has finished pushing all the things and whatnot, your Android phone should reboot. And you should also see this congratulations screen. If not, you have done something wrong. 
And all you have to do is wait. And wait. All you have to do is wait for the phone to boot up. With the uh, exceedingly loud boot animation noise thing. When it goes bling bling bling. And it shows the HTC One with Beats Audio. Now your phone has successfully booted up with a very stock version of Android. Well, sort of. And all you have to do is go through the um, setup screen. Well, that's the end of another video. Feel free to subscribe. And also, you have to leave a like. Because I'm my thumbs up like this. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye.